Dating back to the 11th century, devices is filled with history, from its medieval street plan, its Norman churches, Georgian architecture, and of course, the Kennet and Avon Canal. At the heart of the town lies this imposing red brick building, home to Wadworth Brewery. And it's thanks to this family-run business that the streets of this quaint town echo to the sound of a most picturesque tradition. Dray horses. They get their name from the cart they pull, and they've served Wadworth for over a hundred years. They're amongst the last in a long history of working horses, and over the centuries, horsepower has pulled barges along canals, ploughs across fields, and even been used down mines. Despite their resurgence during the two wars, the internal combustion engine put an end to horses in harnesses in all but a very few places, like here in Devices. For Charles Bartholomew, the great-great-nephew of the Wadworth founder, who's also the chairman and current managing director, horses are still a very big part of the brewery's tradition. Very pleased to meet you, Charles. Hi, Paul. Thank you for taking time out to talk to us today. What magnificent horses, aren't they? They are, indeed. They really are. How long has the brewery been using shire horses? Well, we've been really using shire horses all, all the time the brewery's been going. We had a slight period in the late 60s when uh, we were down to one horse. But other than that, we've had horses forever. And then, of course, my father brought them back in uh, 1971 and 72, yeah. properly, to do the deliveries in the town. And the town really lends itself to these horses, doesn't I, it, really? I, I think it does. It's, I mean, the streets are quite wide. Yeah. It doesn't hold the traffic up too much, although some people would say probably it does. Well, I but, don't think so. But, it's a proper market uh, town. It's a proper market town. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I think people love, love them in devices. They're VIPs, really, aren't they, in devices? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to think so, yeah. Certainly more important than I am. <laughs> what makes a good shire? Let's just point out some of the attributes. Yeah. Obviously, well, strong legs, uh, nice we, feathers. Yeah, what we like is, is a nice compact horse with strong legs, good shoulders, good head. Yeah. When you look yeah. at his head, do, do, do they have to have a slightly rounded forehead like that? Because it is quite round. It's like an Andalusian, isn't um, it? Well, I'm not so sure that's, uh, that's a sort of trait of that's just Max, is it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it shows a bit of arrogance, doesn't it, really? Yes. That sort of yes. rounded... <laughs> <laughs> He's so beautiful. <laughs> really is. Will this tradition last? Will it keep going? Um, yes, Paul. Of course, uh, we're really keen. I mean, we like horses. The town likes horses. And we'll absolutely keep it going. You know, we, we like traditional things, but we use them properly. I mean, they yes. deliver... Um, in the town as they used to pull the canal boats along exactly. and things like that. So they're actually put to proper use. They're not just for show. Well, they're fantastic, aren't they? I'm going to take them out later. I'm going to join the lads yeah, to do a delivery. Great. <laughs> well, Thank you, you very have much a good for day. talking to me. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Head horseman Barry Petherick has been looking after the Wadworth Dray horses for 20 years and he'll be showing me the ropes today. Gorgeous, he's beautiful. Look at the size of him. What is he, 19 hands? He's 18 one. Oh, that's big, isn't it? How old is he? He's six years old. Oh, he's got a lovely temperament, hasn't he? he? Has, Give yes. us a kiss. <laughs> oh, gosh. Right, I want to help, Barry. What can I do? As long as it's not mucking out. We're pretty much done with the harnessing up, but okay. we've got a few barrels to shift. You can right. give us time with that if you like. All right, OK. Each horse weighs approximately a ton, and a team can pull up to two tons of weight. Now that's real horsepower. You ready, Barry? Tom, Max, hold on. Well, here we are. At the castle. Oh, this is a convenient bit of courtyard, Barry. It is, yes. Yeah. yeah, so do these horses always work in the same team or do you swap them over? We do swap them different pairs, but we find which ones go better together. So you try and keep them together. That's right, and also these two we're hoping to show this year as a pair, so right, we're okay. working them as a pair as well. What sort of reaction do you get from the people in the street? I mean, we haven't met many people today because it's too busy, but. There's always a lot of interest. There's, especially for people that haven't seen it before. Local people are 
obviously see it every day, but if you get people that are on holiday or yeah. new to the area, they can't believe that we're still delivering with horses. You two, you two must be familiar faces around the town. We are, yes. Oh, look, there's Barry and Martin. We. Yeah. Oh, well, look, this is our first drop, the castle. So we're getting the metal ones off or the oak ones we'll off? We're getting the metal ones okay. off here, yeah. OK. Are you all ready? There. Weather permitting, the horses deliver to pubs within a two mile radius of the brewery every morning, five days a week. And they're given a two week holiday every summer. Now that's a sight I'd really love to see. But right now, we've still got work to do. It's the last drop of the day. Barry, it's a good job it's not this size, isn't it? <laughs> it is, Paul. It wouldn't do my back a lot of good, I don't think. Oh, there's your last one, Barry. And I'm going to leave you and say goodbye now. Shake your hand. Many thanks to you, Martin, for letting me join you on your round. You're welcome. It's been a real thrill. A great treat. Yeah. I've actually delivered beer to a boozer in device as well, one or two boozers. But I must thank Max and Tom, these magnificent shire horses, doing what they do best. That's what they're bred for. And it's a tradition that's kept well and truly alive here in Devizes, and long may it last. Thank you.